everybody. Welcome to another edition of Cranky Gun Reviews. I want to thank you for joining me today and coming out here at the range while I shoot some more guns. Today, I have my Beretta Model 85BB, the little brother of the 92FS. This gun basically functions the same as the 92. Uh, the FS versus the BB model just has to do with the shape of the trigger guard. The BB has a round trigger versus that squared off front one that the FS would have. And this safety works as a safety and a trigger disconnect. It does not have a decocker built in. So what that means is when I put the safety on, the trigger is just dead. When I take the safety off, then the trigger will fall. But this does not have a decocker like the FS does. So this gun, to carry it safely, you rack the slide to put it in locked and cocked position, and then you put the safety on. So this is how I would carry it when I do carry this. What I'm gonna do today, uh, I had my Smith & Wesson 380 Shield EZ Performance Center out here, and I wanna compare the accuracy that I get out of this gun to what I got with the Shield 380 EZ. The sights on this, uh, it has kind of a, a U-notch trench sight with a half of a white dot in the back and a single dot in the front. So the sights on this are a little bit different than most other guns that I have. And I have some really dirty old Federal Champion 380 here. It's, it's lost all of its luster because these rounds have been in and out of guns a bunch of times. So I want to shoot up all the old ammo I have and then I have some Winchester white box. Uh, flat nose 95 grain, some Sergeant Major steel case, some Aguila 380, some Ammo Incorporated 380, and some PMC Bronze 380, and I'm just going to run all of it through it. I've shot this gun a bunch with all kinds of ammo. It's always been very reliable, but I don't shoot it enough, so let's just shut up and shoot. Oop. Safety. <laughs> that was a bad flinch, huh? So the target I was shooting at is this one here, the second one in from the right. And the accuracy may be a little bit bigger of a group than I had with the 380 Performance EZ. These two targets here I shot with the Performance EZ. Um, this one, you can see the whole center of the target is punched out. This one that I just shot with the Beretta, the whole center of the target is punched out as well. But I had a little bit, you know, a few more high. Pretty much every round except for two was on that eight inch circle. Um, but again, the sights on this gun are not nearly as good as they are on the Performance EZ. But I'm gonna set this up and shoot at that right target after I reload all my ammo. All right, so starting out with Winchester white box, 95 grain, full metal jacket, flat nose. And again, I'm shooting at that bottom right target. There are already two shots on the very left edge of that, but I'm going to aim at the center and let's see what I can do here.
Well, I would say out of this 1980s Italian beast, I'm able to get almost comparable accuracy to the Performance Center Shield 380EZ. Both of them shoot phenomenally well. Um, the Beretta, I've probably only put a couple hundred rounds through since I bought it two years ago or three years ago. Probably been three years, you know. The funny thing about COVID, I sat at home for two full years working from home, over two years, or no, just about two years working from home. And that whole two years that I was at home is just like completely gone in my memory. Everything just kind of muddled together what happened two years ago before COVID could have happened two weeks ago, just the way that everything kind of muddled together. Really messed a lot of stuff up, but you know what? Come out a lot stronger. I had COVID, I got over it. I got pneumonia a month or so ago, I got over that and I'm doing pretty well. So I'm just gonna load up here and shoot a few more rounds and then end this video out. But the Beretta Model 85 BB, is it still a viable carry gun? Yes, it is. It's a little bit thick. The frame on this gun is pretty wide. I put wood grips on it, which probably made the frame a little bit wider than it was originally. Um, but for me, I like the wood grips. I like the way it looks. James Reeves from TFB TV did a video on the 85 Cheetah. Actually, I think he did it on the 84 Cheetah which is the double stack 380, which can have up to 13 rounds of ammo. This one is the single stack, which only has eight rounds. But for me, it was easier for me to get the single stack model in my state. Again, we have stupid laws saying that you can't have more than 10 round magazines. However, the Cheetah being made before 1994, uh, I probably could have got a model 84 if I wanted to. But again, the 85 was a little bit easier for me to get. This one I bought from Classic Firearms. I did a video on it a couple of years ago when I first picked it up. I have quite a few views on that video actually because it's just been a fantastic gun. And it was a good price. I think I paid like, I don't remember, like $420 shipped to my house or maybe $460 between shipping it. It wasn't shipped to my house, but I had it shipped to, shipped to an FFL and then transferred to me because in my state, obviously every handgun has to get transferred through an FFL. So that cost me about 40 bucks. So I think between buying the gun, having it hand picked out by um, Classic Firearms, which may be a gimmick, but $20 to have them supposedly hand pick one didn't seem too bad. So that's what I did when I first bought it. So let me go ahead and take some more shots. Again, the Beretta Model 85 BB. I have random ammo loaded in these. I have like two of one brand, two of another brand, two of another brand all mixed up. So let's just see how she functions. <laughs> 